Hello everyone, I am Delaney Thompson, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about bear safety in the backcountry. As many of you may not know, there are over 600,000 black bears in North America alone. And some of these bears can reach up to eight, so eight, over 30 years old in the wilderness. But, I know you might be thinking this is a little bit scary, but it's not, because there have only been 61 black bear associated deaths since the 1900s. Today I'm here to talk about a couple main points, mostly about bear safety. The first is being bear aware, knowing your surroundings and stuff like that. The second is proper food storage and where to store your food, how to store your food. The third is how to hang a bear bag properly. And then the final thing is why, why is this actually important? So the first thing is being bear aware. So being bear aware it means that when you go into the back country, you know where you're going, you know the terrain, the hiking level, you tend to travel with a friend. And when you are in the back country, it really is advised to never hike alone because more people tend to create more noise and stuff like that. But regardless if you're alone or not, there are a couple of things you can do to protect yourself. The first thing is carry a bear bell. Bear bells are pretty simple, not that expensive, and they make a lot of noise, allowing bears far and wide to kind of hear you. The second thing that you should carry, although I do understand that it is heavy, is bear spray. Now bear spray is nice if you have an aggressive bear or a bear that gets a little too close for comfort because then this spraying pepper spray on them can detour them from coming closer and creating maybe more of a negative encounter. The third thing that you can do is um, use external music things like speakers and stuff like that or chatting with your hiking partner, singing happy tunes or whistling with the birds. Things you really should avoid though is using headphones. Using headphones can really cut out your, your sense of hearing because you, you don't know what's kind of going on around you. So now you've come to the end of your hike, you're ready to set up camp, so now you gotta do food storage. Odor-proof sacks are tend to use to keep all your smelly foods in one area of your pack, as well as avoid the smells from kind of getting seeping into your pack. And this avoids like more animals being drawn to your pack, but also kind of helps with just the smelliness in general. Um, but they're not 100% effective. You do need to either put them in a bear box, uh, bear bag, or bear hang, or bear pole, which as you can see on my PowerPoint slides, you can see what they each look like. Bear vaults are different, however. Bear vaults are these big plastic things that weigh like three to four pounds, which when you're carrying 25 pounds, adding an extra couple pounds is a lot. But you just put them 200 feet away and they're good and bear proof. So bear boxes, bear, pull, bear boxes are by far the most effective way to store your food. They keep your food safe. It's really easy. You just put all your stuff in at the end of the night and you're good to go. But bear hangs and bear poles are a little bit more difficult just because they don't really allow um, they don't really allow the most ease, I guess, in setting up your food storage. So this now comes down to the bear bag hang itself. So a lot of people don't actually know how to hang a bear bag properly. So Today we're going to use the PCT method, which is the Pacific Crest Trail method. And this is essentially where you use a 15 to 20 foot branch that to hang your food. It's about 12 feet off the ground, so the bear can't on its hind legs reach it. Six feet from the trunk and six feet from the branch, so then if the bear is climbing up the tree, it can actually reach down and grab, grab your food. And this also kind of just helps with avoiding more bear encounters again in 200 feet away obviously and now you're probably asking why is this actually important so it's actually important to store your food because you want to keep yourself and your food supply safe sometimes it can actually be really dangerous in the backcountry if a bear gets your food supply because you might be a couple days out etc etc but um it's important for them not to reach your food because we really don't want bears associating humans with the food providers. They, they should be scavenging their own food. So in conclusion, in the backcountry, both human and animal safety is important. It's not just us, it's not just them. You need to be respectful that, and understanding that we are entering their territory, their homes. Storing your food at night properly, keeping your food away from tenting area will help prevent unwanted bears from coming into camp. If you do hang a bear bag, use the proper requirements to do so. 
And remember, human and animal safety is important. You need to keep yourself safe and be smart about your surroundings. And this will avoid the devastating conclusion of harvesting bears or killing bears just because they got too close to humans. So when you're in the backcountry, be safe, be smart, and be aware of your surroundings. Thank you.